you have to hear the croaky voice from me. However, or nevertheless, I feel honored and it's a great privilege for me to drop down a few words in front of our chief guest, Minister Sir and uh, District Education Officer, Madam Sim, and all the distinguished guests, including, inclusive of Doloy of Jawai, etc., etc. Uh, I would like uh, all of you to give a, give a big round of applause along with me to Sir Richard. This clap, this clap is for him to expand the institution from the academic to the practical one, which is, uh, he has sown <coughs> the seed of agriculture institution in Jaitayas. And I hope and pray that someday it will grow up to be the agricultural university in Jawai. Let me hope and pray. And now, while I was looking at the program, last, in the last, I saw someone with the name Robert Rees giving out the benediction. And that reminded me of Robert Frost. <laughs> Robert Frost, a poet, an English poet, who said, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, and, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep miles to go before I sleep. Well, this particular verse was there on the table of the first Prime Minister of India when he expired and he, when he was dead and gone. It was found on his table. And this particular verse I am telling to the outgoing student. You know, you have to be focused for your destination. Well, our wishes are there, our prayers are there, but then you should not forget that success in life is 90% perspiration and 10% inspiration. Well, 10% inspiration is there from our side from your parents' side, from your society, from everywhere. But that 90% should come out from you. So, though the roots are lovely, dark and dim, though there may be lots of diversion attracting you to divert you from your destination, but you should always remember that you have got the promises to keep to yourself, right? Okay. Well, I'm proud to be here uh, along with my teaching fraternity. Well, the congratulations and inspiration is already pronounced to our outgoing student and uh, the one who has just passed out and joined the institution recently. Well, to our teaching fraternity, I would like to recall from a great mathematician and a philosopher, he was from Britain, his name was Burton Russell, and he said that to the teachers, of course, let the knowledge 
let the knowledge and its relationship to real life be very visible to your pupils and let them understand vividly that how knowledge can transform the world. Well, knowledge is a source of enjoyment also. If I know hockey, then I would be enjoying the game of hockey. If I know chess, I will certainly enjoy the game of chess. So knowledge is not a burden. Knowledge is a source of enjoyment also. Okay. Well, uh, there are very many speakers which, who will come on the dais and speak out in front of you. So my best wishes to you, student, and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you.